Hello, I'm James Cage, and this is an Avid Solutions state-of-the-art video. Today, we're going to look at a new remote terminal unit, or RTU, from Honeywell. You find a lot of RTUs in industries like oil and gas, power generation, and utilities, but they pop up anywhere users need rugged distributed control. The Honeywell RTU 2020 combines I.O., control processing, and data logging in a compact, rugged unit that mounts on a standard DIN rail. It supports a full set of control languages, including ladder logic, function block programming, and sequence control charts. The unit has a very powerful processor, but it uses very little electricity. Power consumption ranges from 1.6 to 2.8 watts, and the average power consumption is at the low end of that range, about 1.8 watts. This is important if you use the RTU 2020 in an area where solar power is the only option. Low power consumption means that the RTU 2020 generates very little heat. It will operate in areas from minus 40 degrees Celsius up to 75 degrees Celsius. The assembled unit has Class 1 Div 2 and ATEC Zone 2 certifications. You can use the RTU 2020 on its own or with any vendor's SCADA, DCS, or PLC system. Each RTU 2020 has 28 points of I.O., including analog, digital, inputs, and outputs. It also includes two pulse inputs. You can configure these as standard digital inputs if you don't have pulse on your project. All of the analog inputs and outputs include heart. If you want to use heart, you can do that without purchasing any additional hardware. It uses the same stingy 1.8 watts of power as well. Every RTU 2020 includes data logging capability. The device will store samples as fast as once per second and will record input and output values as well as heart parameters and even internal system values. The unit reserves 8 megabytes of space in the control processor module for data logging. That isn't much. If you want to do serious data logging, you'll probably want to use the SD card slot and install an SD card as large as 32 gigabytes. With 32 gigabytes of memory, you can store data for decades. You can upload the data logs using the RTU 2020's configuration tool, which is called RTU Builder. Or you can connect the unit across a network to your system or historian using protocols like Modbus or DNP3. There are three parts to the RTU 2020. The control processor module, the IO termination assembly, or IOTA, and the terminal blocks that connect I.O. wiring to the IOTA. The CPU houses a dual-core 667 megahertz control processor. That's a lot of computing power. In fact, it's more power than the RTU 2020 needs today. But this additional power will be useful for expansion when Honeywell releases additional I.O. modules for use with the RTU. The body of the RTU 2020 is made out of aluminum. This is good because aluminum dissipates heat very effectively. When mounted on a horizontal rail, the RTU 2020 is vertical. This provides excellent airflow through the unit, cooling the unit even more. The removable CPM and I.O. terminal blocks make it very easy to install the RTU 2020 and to maintain the device. The control processor module has this indented area which provides a secure grip for when you're removing it or putting it into the unit. You'll also notice that the screws are attached permanently to the unit. There are no loose parts that will get lost or get in your way when you're installing this in the field. The IOTA has six network connections, two each for Ethernet, RS-232, and RS-485. You can use these connections in pairs to make redundant links to systems and other devices, or you can use all six of these to make six different connections to systems and external devices. Cybersecurity is built into the RTU 2020. The Ethernet ports have Internet Protocol Security, or IPsec, built in for authentication and encryption. All of the I.O. signals and all of the network connections have transient suppression built in. Indicator lights on the face of the control processor module show the status of all the network connections as well as the state of the processor itself. If you need more than 28 I.O. signals, you'll have to wait for a while. Honeywell plans to release expansion I.O. modules for the RTU 2020. The expansion I.O. modules will connect to this port on the side of the I.O. termination area. This I.O. link port 
will allow a cable to connect from the RTU2020 to the expansion modules. This module has a plastic cover over the port. Thank you for exploring value opportunities with Avid Solutions. In our next video, we're going to look at the software that programs the RTU2020, as well as different ways it can connect to field devices and systems like DCSs, PLCs, and SCADA systems. If you have any questions about the RTU2020, or if you have ideas for future Avid Solutions videos, please enter them in the comments below. If you'd like to keep learning with Avid Solutions, please follow us on Twitter and LinkedIn and subscribe to our YouTube channel.